All right, we are back and it's still crossfire with that Pani Shama. We've been talking to this gentleman and we're talking about sports in Nigeria. And now we'll be talking about football. Sam Suje is an ex-international and believe you me, he's been around for quite a while. This is somebody who has had to put 20 years of active you know, playing into this career. And I tell you, we have another gentleman here, Barista Shea Akimumi. He's a sport, a seasoned sport administrator, and he knows too well when it comes to talking about football in Nigeria. Now, let's talk about You were saying something before we went on a short break. Yeah. We're talking about being professional yes. about this, you know, about football. And that Nigerian players are not professional enough, and, and that's why it appears as if, okay, a level of complex is coming in and there, or they are actually not competing favorably with their foreign counterparts. Yes, I, <clears throat> I do agree that. I, I do say that they're not professional enough. You know, the environment hasn't helped, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, sometimes, I mean, you, you have club sites, yeah. you know, who are supposedly big club sites. They go to training and have one ball, I you mean, know. Um, the, the, all, there's no structure as to how they run their trainings. A lot of things are wrong with many clubs. I mean, to be fair, it's improving drastically, you know, and it's it's rapidly as well. Do you know how it feels, sorry to interject, do you know how it feels? I went for a training session of, a, I don't want to call their name, I was just privileged to be, you know, in a new good state around that time and I, I just went, you know, to the pitch where they were training. I went with a friend and what they loaded were pure water bags to the field for the players. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. actually, I mean, it's unfortunate. I'm not saying pure water is not good, but I think when it comes to professionalism, treat these people with at least a level of, of respect and dignity. Do you understand? Sure. M many of them probably buy bottled water, but here in their profession and they are doing this with the whole of their life for you, and then all you supply for a training session are pure water bags. I mean, that's really... Now, we yeah. talk about professionalism. I mean, right. what, what, what do you have to say about that? Oh, um, I'll have to go against what my chairman is saying, because at the end of the day, this is why I'm in Nigeria. Okay. This, I don't call them my project. I call them my baby, because I've had it for three years. I am the right person to do it. I, I grew up in Nigeria. I played in the league for six or seven years. So I know exactly. I'm not just coming from the UK with a program. I grew up here. I played in the league. What I'm trying to explain is, forget about the game. Let's forget about uh, the league. Forget about everything. The players need to get looked after. And okay. I'll give you 10,000. Are we talking about welfare? Welfare of the mm -hmm. players. Okay. And I'll give you 10,000 reasons and how the blueprint, how players can be looked after. Because I am a living experience. Okay. I'm, I'm a living, I have done it. I've been yeah. there, done it. I, I live in a, a country where the system works. So seven years ago, I should have finished playing football. But because the, the system works in that country where some individuals, ex-players, educated themselves and came back and made sure that the coming players are being treated nicely. What I mean by that is by educating them. Forget about the money right now. When you say educating them, do you mean you getting them into school? It proper schooling? Sco school. It might be schooling, but it might be going to talk to them. I'm in my, oh, okay, late, I'm okay. in my late phase right now. Do you know? Sorry, Sam. Somebody, I mean, they see, they, I don't know. This person just doesn't want to go away. <laughs> Samuel, good morning. Hello. Hello, Samuel. Are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Good morning. All right. Good morning, Samuel. Thanks for calling Crossfire. Yeah, thank you. I so much appreciate this program this morning. Thank you. My contribution for this topic this morning is that, you know, in this country, when we are talking about corruption, the issue of corruption has come across in the level of sport in Nigeria, mm -hmm. in which that they, they, they are not giving room for the, the, the young talented people I need to, 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 to demonstrate their enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. In the sense that, you know, they, they, based on my perspective, I believe that they select on maybe for someone to give them money, bribe them before giving, a, a, giving them opportunity as if to participate in a, in a particular tournament. Yeah, but in a, in a situation whereby we have some uh, uh, upgrade, uh, upcoming talented people, in which they are not giving them uh, the opportunity to, 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 to use their, their tactics. You know, oh, it will be somehow, they, they, they will be somehow relent and they will be somehow feel, feeling inferior in the sense that because they are not giving them the, the opportunity to rule. We know what happened in that in last administration. Let me put it in that way. For this, uh, the, 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 our last coach now, you know, what sort of thing 
the person that is supposed to be using in a, in, a, in a particular position, and because of maybe one way or the other, the complaining, one way or the other, no, so all those things need to be neglected. We need to be, 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 we need to be do away with all those things in order to give the upcoming, uh, the 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 the, the play, upcoming player. Now let me put it in that way. Give it the opportunity just to to to, to have the creativity I and mean, just to feel and more that yeah. They can do this because uh, what happened? You know, most of the things that we encounter last, uh, the, that last, let's put it in last year or last regime for this uh, um, uh, the, our former coach now. You know, it's not it's not the thing that we can be uh, expecting. Let me put it, in this new administration. My, my advice for me is that let us give this upcoming uh, people. Let them give them opportunity to. All right. All right. Thank you very thank much, you so much Samuel. Uh, Samuel. Thank you so much. Now, now you, you were talking about, you know, educating yeah. the players. And you were trying to explain yeah. that. Yeah. What I was going to say, that what, what, what he's saying is about the football, about I'm not here for that. What I'm here for is the, is the way for the players. I was watching TV two, um, two days ago, and I saw that the, the federal government just signed a deal with um, an EU learning, a UK e learning um, company. Center, yeah that they will come to put in e learning. That is where the NFF, or the bodies, should key in and know for a fact players need that. Okay. Players don't go to school or whatever. They, they stay in camps. They, they stay in the hotels. If they have a laptop, an iPad, they can be educated even when they go in training. Mm -hmm. But who does have them? Don't talk about the players because it's up to us uh, to lead them through the right way. Yeah. So Since what I'm trying to say, uh, yes, what I'm trying to say the NFF or whatever body yeah. Whatever you've done, he just said they, they, they just signed a good deal with, with the bank. What has that got to benefit the players? Why should I be happy? Now, Sam, let me ask I'll you this. You, I'll, I'll tell you why. Exactly. Let, let him answer you because see, I have a question on that. Yes. You see, what we did and everything we have done yeah. with all these things we signed, what we signed alongside is always the, uh, not just the money aspect of it, yeah. but we also signed the education aspect of it. Okay. okay. You see, you cannot educate if you yourself are not educated. Mm -hmm. cool. So the yeah. first thing that we're doing, with it, even though we went there to sign a youth um, agreement on youth tournament, mm -hmm. what we have said is that you should also give us money to educate the administrators across all the FA chairmen across. But Sam is talking about educate, educate the players. Educate the players. Hang on. Hang on. Educate the players. Okay, let's take this call. Yeah. Alex, good morning. Good morning, my brother. How are you? Okay, you don't see one of your brothers for television. That's why they call. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Alex, let's take your contribution quickly. Yes, uh, I want to thank you for bringing up that uh, education to players, to talk okay. to them. You see, most of our players these days, most of our players these days, they don't, they don't behave like professionals. Mm -hmm. I played football before, but these days you see a player in the camp, they will in the bus. You see a player who who, who has the match tomorrow, you see him in the club this night. I know in my day, you, a camp is a camp. If you break the pool, you know what to do. You know where, what you will forfeit. But these days, reverse is the case. You, we need to talk to this guy to know that this is their job. Mm -hmm. It's what they are being paid for. Well, if you're working in an office yeah. and you're yes. supposed to rejoin the next the one, office, you go you know to a nightclub over But they don't even care. They feel that they are master of their own. Mm -hmm. They know more than you, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are people. Oh, please, I want to thank you for that. Uh, All right, thank you very much, Alex, for your contribution. So Alex. Thank you. Can I, can I, can I yeah, that? but, but yes, we okay. have another call. Let's quickly pick this call. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you there? Hello, yes, I'm here. All good right. Morning. Please go ahead and make your contribution. Good morning. All right, thank you. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, everybody there. Morning. Morning. Thank you. And good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I think we should talk about sports administration generally in Nigeria. Okay. Our children don't seem to understand what sports is anymore. Uh, the footballers, for me, they see sports as money. And I thank God that young man there is talking about education for okay. people in football. Which is good because now they've seen that money is not everything. Mm -hmm. And some of the people organizing footballers are thinking more about money. That we've left the general public especially the younger people, the younger children in primary schools, 
that they just go to school and do ABC, one plus one, no sports. And they live sedentary lifestyle. Schools that don't have fields, no sports at all in their lifestyle. So we should bring sports back. And incidentally, we have Ministry of um, this sport. I remember when my children were much younger and I was taking them to go and swim. I wanted them to go into competing because I know we are from the Riverrun area. I carried them to the ministry where I felt they had to improve. They didn't were not interested. They were more interested in the money they will make. Mm-hmm. And so you find that today our younger people, they just eat a bang soup, and mm-hmm. that is the end. No sports and go to school, come back, you see them with their bags, mm-hmm. and people are developing pot bellies all over the place. <laughs> so they say we have to bring sports back. All right. Into the life of the people. Uh, all right. Thank you. And, you know, okay. So let's bring it back to the primary school, the secondary schools. Okay. Let them have fields and then they play. Okay. And from there, they will follow their passion. Yeah. If all you right. want to do badminton, you go and do badminton. If you want to do table tennis, you go into it and become a professional. Mm-hmm. I think that's what we should do. All right. Thank, thank you very much. Now, Sam, you were trying to answer Alex one first. Okay. Yeah. When it comes to Alex, I understand where he's coming from. I was there. He, he knew me when I was playing. I, I was living in a bubble. It's up where I was lucky enough to be playing in the UK, where individuals sacrificed themselves, ex-players that knows where I am in life, and came to me and helped me. So those players going to nine club, you cannot stop a footballer from being who a footballer is. But it's up to someone like me that knows that knows about it, and someone like your coaches, the canons, no, 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 that no. knows but about it. Training, training, yeah, training. Let, let, let him learn. Can I finish? Yeah. What can I say? When you're, when you're not educated, when you live in a bubble, do you, have you ever been in a dressing room before? No, because I have been there for 20 years. Okay. So I'm explaining to you. When you live in a bubble, there's nothing anyone can tell you that you will understand. Mm. But when you get, what we're running out of is role models. When you have someone in our culture come to you, we, we have that every two, every one week in, in the UK. We get ex-players come to our dressing room to talk to us. We will relate to him more than he, uh, he talk, talking to me. So okay. I understand what you're saying about them going to, going to nightclub. We can tell them, listen, you can go to nightclub, but listen, come on. This is what's going to happen. This is what happened. This is what happened to me. This is what happened to me. They will relate to me more because they know. You have been there. I've been there. Yeah, done it. Listen, I was an athlete. I used to run. Yeah. I ran my primary school, my yeah. secondary school, my university, even during my service days, my NYC services. Yeah. And I won medals. Yeah. Are you run now? Thing, well, I still can run. Mm. You want excuse to challenge you. Me? Excuse you. I, I'm, I'm putting you to a challenge. <laughs> me. Please. But one thing, one thing I grew up, one thing I was trained to know, understand is that as an athlete, you have to be trained, you have to be disciplined. There are some certain things you cannot do, do yeah. when you have a major competition. Say, there are certain you? foods you okay. cannot No, no, it's, it's not even when you have a major competition. You, we're, we're, saying same, you know, we're saying the same thing. So what they, I'm going to say to you is, when you're speaking to someone like you now, mm-hmm. they're going to talk to athletes and explain to them, it's hard when you're living in a bubble. You need someone to come and help you. How was help? And that's why I'm sitting down here to be able to talk to you guys. I was that I was there with them. I know what you're talking about. But it's up to someone like me to go in there yeah, and, and make use of the education, the little education I have yeah. with these players. All right. Then, what, what, what's this? Color. What this concept? I mean, that you're bringing back to Nigeria. What is this all about? Let's spell it out to Nigeria. Okay. What it's all about is number one. You need to have the little basics of, of education. Uh, how do you? Formal when you say the little, how do you mean? She like primary, said, secondary. She just said. Yeah. Secondary. No, she, she, she just said to me, yeah, it's secondary because it's, it's hard to be asking a, a at least a you can read and write. Yeah, to uh, mm-hmm. at a footballer to go to have a master. I know players yeah. who yeah. cannot read. I know players that you're, you're talking who to cannot me. write. No, but but do you think I'm, I'm going to judge them? <laughs> I ain't going to judge them. I, I'm I'm not going to laugh the way you're laughing. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I, what I would do is go to them and explain to them, I know players, they called me yesterday, they can't even read, but I'm not gonna come here and mock them because I've been in their shoes before. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to explain to you that because we know we need help from experts to help these players, it all starts from players' welfare, getting paid, getting treated the right way. So okay. I'm not here to just have a joke. I'm serious with this, my program, because these players need us needs the experts to come and talk to them. And that's where we, co- we, we go to the LFF. Back to the e-learning. E- I'm going to ask a short question to him now. We've just seen the, the, F, the, the federal government sign a good contract with the e-learning e- thing. What, what does it take for anybody to give the players computers 
They will pay for it. They will pay maybe, for it. Yeah, maybe the players you, will pay yeah. for the it. The players pay for it. Maybe but, a tablet. But, 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 yeah, a tablet. But the players have to get paid. To pay for it. No, but if, a, if that player is not educated, we will educate them. Does, okay. No, no, we. What, what, what do you mean is educated? I, I wasn't educated. I mm -hmm. think, I think that you know, one thing we, we, should, we all things are not mutually exclusive. Exclusive. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see, he knows that as far as education is concerned, for example, um, you start from even the youth in Lagos yeah. State. That's mm -hmm. what we've done, and you know, we're very proud of what we've done in the past few years with educating um, footballers. But the truth is this: you can educate the footballers all you like. Okay. Right? Some people administer them. Mm -hmm. If those people are not knowledgeable. It's just when a yeah, teacher is, yeah, does yes. not know. You are wasting a lot of your resources if you don't work together. The NFF cannot do everything. At all. Mm -hmm. Now, what the NFF can do, and that's why we started from, look, let's even educate all the FHMN who run the football in the States, in 37, 36 and, 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 and yeah, Abuja. Yeah. Now, people like uh, Sam Suji can come in and bring programs, and even he cannot do it alone. There are yeah. many, we have to be sort of, his kind of programs to be replicated, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. if we work together, and then he goes to any state, and they, they're willing to work with him to educate, then we can work. I'll give you an example of something I, I, I was involved in some, many years ago. Some people, we brought some people from, uh, or some or clients of mine brought uh, people from Germany to come and do uh, eye surgery for free in states across the nation. And they went to a particular state. And the local government chairman then said that how much is it for him? And said, look, we're doing this for free for people in your state. And the man refused to allow that to happen because he didn't get the benefits. Now, wow. if you want to talk about educating players, and you educate them all you want, and they want to give benefit to society, and the administrators don't allow it to happen, it's a waste. It's of a waste of time. So it's we waste need to of work together. Okay, so he, uh, Mr. Shea, mm -hmm. I just brought something to the table mm -hmm. that I would let him know. Yeah. As you know, I'm a daughter. Yes. I work closely now with the governor of Delta State. So I've been mandated to look at a youth football in Delta State. Yep. Right now, as I'm talking to you, a very big club, as we know, did not got paid from the last regime. Mm -hmm. Correct. For over six to seven months. Seven months. Seven, seven months. months. Yeah, he knows. And what the the own the, the person under his nose that was was in charge is our number one man. What chance? I'm talking from a player point of view. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not picking on anyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not being. I'm not trying to fight. Yeah. What I'm trying to say from a player's point of view, because I'm I'm doing what they've done for me in the UK. The people in the UK, which call the PFA, yeah. don't care about anyone. All they care about the is players. the players. Because so that's I'm the instrument talking about, you're using. Yeah. I'm talking about my players now. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. They've not got paid for seven months. And the person that was in charge of them, I don't care whether it's the government, but the person that was in charge of that club at that time is our number one man. What okay. chance has the player got, got right to, can I, All right, can I, can I, we, we won't go on until we go on a short break. Okay. And then um, you'll be coming to probably provide an answer yes. to okay. one of those questions. All right, let's go on a short break now. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and it's still Crossfire with Dapa and Ishoma. This is Cool TV Channel 196 on Star Times. Crossfire, and we've been discussing about sports, administration, footballers, football, and all of that. And then um, Sam tried to put you on a very hot spot before we went on that break. <laughs> and uh, you were supposed to respond, you know, to these players who have not been paying in the last seven months. What's happening? Actually, it's, actually, it's not a hot spot. It's, it's um, an issue that should concern all of us. Okay. You see, the problem with the players not being paid is a very simple one. It's structural. There's no business in football. And it hasn't been in the past few years regarding the premiership teams. So they don't make money. They live from hand to mouth. They live from handouts from government. Clubs like that should not, they can't be compared to the clubs in England mm. because they're private uh, investments Hold, yeah. and private owned businesses. You live if the governor is willing to put money down, then you run. How can a club uh, um, run without money? So you are at the discretion of the commissioner, the, uh, the governor, whoever it is, that disburses the money. When I was involved in, in putting together the new Premier League, you know, the LMC, I was a founding member, and we worked night and day to put and fought, you know, day to day with the sports administrators, the club administrators. Mm -hmm. Today we are all friends. 
But at that time, they were willing to just do anything to frustrate us. And the reason was that money from government was coming through them and was not getting to the bottom. Mm. So the they were siphoning the money. I, I have no idea. It wasn't getting there. I don't know what happened. Well, it wasn't getting to the place. Yes. Now, now we, we, have, yeah. uh, we don't have so much yeah. time. How far have we gone with your project and how well? It, it's going um, in, in terms of uh, acceptance. Yeah. yeah. For, for me, players, this, this is like heaven for the players. I was still disagree with Mr. Shea. Mm. But this is like heaven to the players. Regardless of what anyone says on this show or anywhere, okay. or with friends, whatever, the players are not getting paid. Do you know these players are So what's the package for, uh, for your program? What's uh, the package? Yeah, 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 the package for my program. From top to bottom, what, what's the package? What's, first of all, yeah. it's going the awareness okay. of players knowing it's not right to be playing and not getting paid. Okay. But right, um, striking is, is, not, is, is out of the picture. Okay. Education, number one. We'll, we'll put in education for them. Okay, go. Then, to answer to talk to Shea about it, is I can go and make money if I get the right tools uh, privately for these clubs. The, the main thing that we should know now today is there's no work for any sport administrators if there's no players. How, we don't how, have a job. how come the business... Okay, you talked about private sector yeah. participation in, in, in sports, yeah. probably taking it completely over from, from, from the government. Ultimately. I think that is, you ultimately. know, ultimately. Mm -hmm. But how come private, you know, um, individuals are not seen, are not you actually create, seen... First of all, you see, where we did we disagree on this is, you see, you have to create the value. It won't happen overnight. You know, all the, everything you're saying is fine, high five looting, it's beautiful. And it can work if the government wants to work with you in Delta State. But we took Nigeria here, mm -hmm. right? There's some states who had their football administration, yeah. right? We have the FHM and it's frustrated. Now, what we need to do is look at it and create value. And I won't put my money that I've worked hard for into football, no matter how much I love it, if I don't create value, if I don't get value from it. Mm -hmm. I, nobody would sponsor you if it doesn't get value for it. So right. first, we're creating value, and it will take time. So indeed, this issue of uh, the players not being paid, it annoys me no end. And he knows that too. But we have, in fact, the LMC, I, sh I tell you also, LMC has had to give loans in the past few days to some clubs to pay. Wow. Just to ensure that players do not suffer. Sorry, she, we, we have um, Alex. I think he has an un, unfinished business. Alex, good morning again. Hello, Alex. Are you there? Hello. Okay. Yes. Okay, sorry, so, you know, this whole thing, you need a lot more information on what is going on. You know, you see it from pers one perspective, the player's perspective, and that's fine. Someone must see from there. But we need to sit down and let everybody understand every facet of it. Otherwise, we'll be throwing bombs at each other. Mm -hmm. so see, because I, I won't be clubs if there are yeah, no players. Yeah, yeah, I personally think what, what she is trying to say, it does make sense. I, I, I agree. But there should be a body, or there should be people like me, that just think about the players. So okay, whatever so what you're saying, saying, what is, saying yeah, whatever yeah. you're saying, yeah. people like you as representatives in the administrative sector yeah, also yeah. Experts. working. Yeah, experts. We should, we, I'm telling you, whatever you're saying that you're doing, you're not doing enough because now, now, now she, she is looking at so it. Harsh. She is basically looking at so it. That let's build the institutions. Let's build very strong, uh, you well, know, sport institutions. That? How long? I will go so far. Uh, anyway, I say I mean, our players step by step in Nigeria <laughs> is under slavery. They, they, some teams in Enugu or wherever, they've started this this season without getting paid. Season, not not months, full season. And I'm not saying. They said, they said, I have been there. I okay. spoke to them. I okay. know for okay. facts. No salary, okay. no Now, let's start, let's start taking... Medical insurance. Let's start taking our last words insurance. now, Shayi. What wow. is the way forward? The way forward, I think, is the way the NFF is going at the moment. Okay. It's looking long term, okay. right? And then working towards day by day, breaking down these barriers okay. and understanding the issues. Educating the administrators okay. so that they can spread the word to their states to ensure that things like this don't happen. Okay. Also, the players' representatives need to organize themselves properly. You okay. know, we've had in the past few years, they've been fighting each other, fighting us. Mm. That doesn't help. It's not on the pages of the newspaper that you support the players. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm glad that Sam has come in now. And it's on ground. And it's on yeah. ground. Mm. You know, we really need to get things working together okay. and understand each other. All right. Sam, the, the last, last word is yeah. just, you know, uh, I'll I, I need you to talk to, you know, camera eight now and talk to players out there. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Every player, they, they know me as well. Okay. So, so uh, I've, been, I've been around, they know okay. me um, as friends, okay. ex, ex colleagues. Every player out there should know there is life after football. Good. We will not allow the administrators to, to define our life and say after football we will suffer. Ex players, come out. There's more we can do. Yeah. Okay. There's more we can do. All we want to say to the administrators is please, whatever you do, whatever big deal you do, the pictures you take, whatever how nice you look, Always consider the players has to get paid. All right, I fantastic. Well, I mean, this is really very passionate. You have some uh, one, one word, okay? And this is personal. You know, um, sometimes I was telling Sam. Sometime ago, I set up a, fund, um, a charity, and one of the beneficiaries of the charity is ex internationals, and just so that we, we don't have enough money to give all of them, so we gave a million naira, you know, mm -hmm. um, and said use this as first of all deal with particular issues. Okay. But use it as a basis to create a fund. Mm -hmm. Till today, we haven't seen that fund. Now, and it wasn't because I was trying to show that I could do it. We're trying to encourage them. Encourage. Yeah. If we had that fund and grown to five million, it would have affected some, some people. people. That's true. And that's what we should all do. All no right. more money, let's just educate them by buying yeah. our people some laptop and, and, uh, this, and key into this all e right. Just create an enabling environment for them to get really, uh, I mean, educated. Now, I mean, we have Shay talking from the administrative point of view, and then we have Sam really hammering it down, talking about the players. Anyway, I believe very strongly that with time, Spot we grow and develop more in Nigeria. This is how far we can go on our show today. We yet bring you another very fantastic package when it comes to sporting activities. We'll be back tomorrow with another very interesting episode. Do join us and stay out of trouble. Bye for now. So, did you like what you just saw? I know you did. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. If you want to see more, just subscribe to our channel right now.